What's going on guys? Angry Man Duke here again. I'm so angry. What am I angry about? If I mess up, my dad's gonna beat me. TikTok. May I have the word in its original pronunciation? TikTok. And actually I'm twice as angry because I just recorded this and I was using the S Pen as a remote, but apparently when you use the S Pen as a remote to start a video, it only records for a minute, which is bullshit. Sounds important. It isn't. But in any case, I'm, ga I'm using the Note 20 Ultra. I'm using the 4K with stabilization at 60 frames a second, as opposed to using the 8K with the, the motorized gimbal because, well, I don't really need to use a, a gimbal that's going to follow me in the truck. And the gimbal doesn't allow me to use 8K anyway because I have to use their app. Their app isn't capable of 8K, so then I can't do that. But in any case, I'm not recording this in 8K because it, it dawned on me while I was recording the last one was that the majority of people that are probably watching this, if you're watching it at all, which isn't a whole lot of people, are probably watching it on a phone. <laughs> I just noticed this. Which isn't capable of showing you 8K, even if your data network allows it, which would only be 5G. But then, you know, recording in 8K kind of defeats the purpose if you're watching at home on your TV, like I think some people are, then, oh, hi Casper. 4K is still good enough. There are very few people that have 8K televisions, so it's not like I ever need to record in 8K. You know, he didn't get involved the entire time that I recorded the last segment, which went on for about 10 minutes, and now he wants to get involved because I'm act I'm doing it again. Of course, because he wants to be gotten. That that's what it is. All right, so TikTok. Very very angry. Now I want to give you a little bit of backstory on TikTok because I was listening to Lou later, which is a spinoff of Unbox Therapy. Now watch Unbox Therapy because I'm into tech and it, it's interesting and it's non-political stuff that I can listen to occasionally and I might see something I actually like. It's not why I got this phone, but it, it was on there and I did like it. Yeah, so I, and then Lou later, it's kind of like talking to uh, my friend Remington Reeves and that YouTube channel has, you know, well, it's been dead for years now, but he's still alive and he, he's been a friend of mine for 30 years, maybe more. And it's kind of like talking to him because we talk about tech and different stuff. And he's actually the one that informed me of this whole TikTok thing. So I'm listening to that and he's talking about TikTok and he's acting like he's pissed off that the Trump administration and the United States federal government is banning TikTok. And they're giving him 45 days to sell to an American company uh, such as Twitter or uh I don't even know if Twitter is American, but to sell to another company, like I think Twitter's looking into it, Microsoft is looking into it, and a couple other companies are looking into it. Gay Bigfoot. But they give them 45 days. If they don't sell within 45 days, then it's completely banned from the U.S. And I've been telling people to get off of TikTok for a while now, but I don't think anybody really understands why. Because it's big and we're afraid of it. See, the whole thing with TikTok is it's in the permission. You gotta take that shit to the grave! So you know how when you get an app, you get all these permissions and it wants to like be able to use your camera and look at your contacts. And you don't usually think nothing of it, but you do kind of wonder why a game needs to see your contacts. This is pest control! That's probably because they're selling the, the phone numbers so they can try to sell you extended warranties on cars that you don't even own. It sounds like the finest party I can imagine getting paid to go to. Yeah, so in those permissions, which are annoying enough in itself, there was one for TikTok, and apparently they've stopped, but they haven't deleted the stuff that they did where it would take your MAC address. Now, what a MAC address is, is it's actually a specific set of numbers that defines your uh, device. So whatever you're using to connect to the internet, and in the case of TikTok, it would be a cell phone, or a tablet. I don't I don't even think there was a computer app for it, but there might have been. There might have been for Apple or something cuz Apple I'll get into later. Yeah, so they would, you know, get your MAC address with those permissions that you just speed through and you never pay attention to. And what that allows them to do is access your device. So once they had the MAC address, it didn't it doesn't matter if you uninstalled TikTok, if it wasn't on uh, like you, you didn't it was on the device but you didn't have it booted up it, none of that stuff mattered in fact you could even shut your phone off and they would still be able to access things like 
your GPS location, and your microphone, and your camera. Well, not, not while the, they couldn't access the camera while the phone was off, or the microphone, but they could access your GPS location while the phone's off. But if the phone's on, they could use the camera and the microphone. I'm with you, bro. I was already starting to snap crackle. And th this works on a story. Let's say that you work in the Pentagon. You're just a normal, like, employee. I'm not saying you're a general or something, but you work in the Pentagon and you're a parent. And you go home, and every time you go home, your son steals your phone so that he can watch stupid videos, and generally he's going to be watching them on TikTok. Yeah, probably YouTube too, and not this one. He's got some kind of disability or something. He loads TikTok and accepts all those permissions, and you don't even know what's on your phone, but you don't think anything of it because you know there are safe checks, and, and there really are, because neither Google nor Apple allow for the taking of MAC addresses for, for apps in their store, but TikTok did find a loophole in order to do it. And, all right, so you don't know what's on there. Well, you grab your phone and go to work, and what TikTok, and not, I don't think TikTok specifically was doing it, but TikTok is a Chinese company, and because China is a communist country, the Chinese government controls all the companies, so then the Chinese government can access your phone, and because you're doing something important, which... High-tech shit! I don't know what you're doing inside the Pentagon, because I don't know what happens in there, and nobody else does, except the Chinese government would, because now you have your phone on you, in there. So they're making a map inside, and if the phone is on, then they're also at least listening to what's going on. Now, they're going to sort through and find, find, you know, people of value, but if you work in the Pentagon, there's a good chance there's a lot of stuff that, you know, you're not supposed to talk about outside of work, and then the Chinese government's listening in on it. That's why the federal government is banning it, and it's not necessarily for the average person, but the average person might get into some situations that would be, you know, useful for the Chinese government to try to manipulate our voting or our media system or because the Chinese government is involved in all of that stuff and, and we need to push back because China wants to undermine our entire system and the Democrats are falling for it. Like they would rather sell out the American people than work for us. Because they should be condemned totally. But Democrats are a whole other issue that I'll, I'll touch on later. This part of a kind of a series because uh, it all pisses me off extra angry so yeah they're banning tiktok because of that that's why they got rid of huawei because huawei was building like 5g networking systems and shit and putting mics in so that, like they could listen to what's happening even though some of that stuff might not happen but they could also track the data that went through there and there's all kinds of stuff that's going to flow through a 5 5g network mouthful of sasquatch all sorts of stuff because 5g is capable of doing things that well 4g isn't flick my bean to it and i don't just mean streaming 8k video I, uh, it also can drive aut autonomous vehicles and use robots and all kind of stuff and china would be stealing that that kind of data so that they could copy our tech and you know do it for themselves because china's too stupid to do it for themselves they have to steal it or they wouldn't be able to do it at all and we don't want them stealing our secrets so that they can use them against us that's just wrong so then it is only a game most companies are pulling out of china because of this and i heard lou on unbox therapy crying about that like you know china is doing something good for us but he's Canadian, so maybe he just doesn't understand that China is trying to undermine the U.S. economy so that they can take over it. And once they take us out, if they can, and they're not going to take us out, but if they could take us out, it's not like Canada is going to be safe. And the freedoms that you now know you would no longer have. And that would also work for the rest of the world. If they took out the United States, the rest of the world would be... China's bitch. But they're not going to take us out because we're stronger than that. We're smarter than that, right? You're smarter than that? I know I am. Don't be retarded. And I believe there's plenty of people that are, even if you're not, but 
I want to believe that you are because you're watching me. What the hell did you do? Well, that might not mean you're smart, but you're learning something here, and I'm teaching it. You quit school, but you still got some learning to do. Most companies are pulling out of China, and that's the thing. Google is no longer involved in Huawei, and that was because of Trump's order, but they're no longer involved in Huawei, or ZTE, or Xiaoming, or whatever, Ming Xiao, or I don't, I don't know what the hell it is, but they're not involved in that stuff, and really the only company that's, and Samsung pulled out of China a while ago, they don't do business in China, like they're not building things in China, I'm not saying they don't sell the phones there, but then building it there and selling it there are two different things, because if you build it there, you have to then forfeit to the Chinese government, and then you're giving some of your data to the Chinese government, the stuff that they want. Now see, Samsung's not there, they're a Korean company anyway, but Apple is there, and Apple has a lot of their stuff built there, including Apple TV. So if you have an Apple TV in your house, China is listening to you. And I don't think that, you know, the sound of you farting and the baby crying is, is necessarily sensitive information, but you might think it is, and you're, you're giving it to the Chinese government. Now, the American government does have the ability to listen to you, but they don't want to hear that. It's never been done in the history of the Jedi. It's insulting. Not just Apple TV, but some of the iPhones are built there. And maybe that's part of the reason why Apple gives what well, Apple's tech is, is behind, because the iPhone 12 or whatever the hell it's going to be, the one that's not out yet, isn't going to have a camera as good as the one that I'm filming myself with now to talk to you because they're, they're not going to have a camera as good as the Note 20 Ultra or even the regular Note 20 or the S20 because they're not good at that and the screen's not going to be as nice either because Apple's inferior tech. I figured you wouldn't understand. But at least if they're going to build it in China, inferior tech is ideal because they're going to copy it and put it in the Huawei devices and then use it to listen to people all over the world. At least it's inferior stuff. But I think it's kind of shitty that Apple is allowing the Chinese government to control part of their business, 30% of their business, you know, and that means that China, you know, anything in China, then they have to be able to listen to it or they wouldn't be able to do business there. But then they don't let the United States government, like they don't, won't unlock a phone for the FBI where it's a known pedophile and you know he has child pornography pictures on there but they won't take it out because they're trying to say it's their device so it's their data and you know we won't break it but they they're hypocrites because they break it for for china okay that's scary ridiculous and you know but i don't like apple and i, I think anybody who's watching this knows this but you know apple's inferior and they're assholes for doing business with china because google's not doing business with china and i'm not a big fan of google even though I do use their products and I'm using their platform in order to give myself a platform. But they're not doing business with China. They are playing ball with the United States government. Apple's not playing ball with the United States government or doing and is doing business with China. After this whole coronavirus, which is the Chinese flu because it comes from China, they're not trying to pull out now, then we shouldn't be buying their products at all anymore. They're garbage. That's retarded. The whole entire company is trash. But anyway, guys, I've gone on about that enough, and I am actually kind of getting tired. Plus, I already recorded this video once before, and I might have done a better job then. I don't know. You know, I wouldn't do this without you, and I would give you all the things to point out, but I'm not going to upload this from the computer because that's a pain in the ass. I'm going to upload it from the phone after I edit it on the computer because that's where, how I've been doing it. Uh, but if you want to see what else I'm angry about, you're going to have to go into my channel. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button. But uh, thanks for watching. I wouldn't do this without you. I'll see you all my friends in my next video.